Crime on the subway, a problem that seems to be getting worse. A cop attack just two days into the mayor's new plan to double patrols on the subway. Now, the plan forced to backtrack. Let's have the separated solo patrol stay in eyesight of each other. So what's the answer to all this? How do you stop this horrific trend and make New Yorkers feel safe again? Getting back on the subway. Tonight, the MTA introducing a new weapon in the fight, hitting cameras. Here's Iowa News reporter Josh Eininger. Riding the trains has, for so many New Yorkers, become an exercise in self-defense. Some carry pepper spray. Most avoid eye contact. Diane English has her own strategy. I pray. I pray my travel time there and back. She prays that she won't fall victim to another act of violence. Tonight, the Transit Authority is rolling out a new initiative aimed at fighting crime on subways themselves, which, unlike the platforms and stations, don't have surveillance cameras on board. Now the MTA will install them in 100 cars in a pilot program. Richard Davey is the president of New York City Transit, which has installed cameras on 4,000 buses, but no trains. In our most recent customer survey data, um, it's clear that our bus customers feel uh, more safe than our subway customers. It comes a day after the assault of a transit cop patrolling a three train alone in East New York, Brooklyn. Mayor Adams had ordered the NYPD to institute solo patrols to increase visibility across the system. The officer was unhurt, but today the mayor evolved his plan. Now cops can patrol as pairs again, but must spread out. Two goals. One, omnipresent. We still have that. Number two, to make sure our offices are safe as possible. But even the biggest police department in the country can't put a cop everywhere. The Transit Authority is hoping adding cameras aboard trains will provide a much needed layer of safety in a scary time. The Transit Authority says it isn't sure if these cameras will help deter criminals, but they think they will help solve individual crimes and ultimately they hope make people feel a little better about riding the train.